morning, you ladies. My name is Jack Guy, and welcome to Coloring Pixels. Okay, so this is going to be really dumb. This is going to be really silly because this is not... It's not really a game. It's kind of just an interactive little thing that you can do. And I tried it out already because I did this little thing. So it's... It's one of those things that... Have you ever had those books that were like this? So you'd get a book of a picture that had a... It had like a picture in it, but it was all white and you had to see all the numbers in it and then you'd have to pick the color that was in that number and you would just color it in and it made you feel so good about yourself because it made you feel like that you were actually able to draw and color in and do cool shit with art even though you weren't really doing it I remember I used to have these books when I was in school I would we would get these books in school like every year somebody would come around and they would just hand out these books and you'd have to pay for them and it was such an exciting time because you got to pick the ones that you were really interested in and I- I got one at one point that was all about dinosaurs. And- God, I must have been like... less than 10 years old. And I had this book of dinosaurs and it had all the colors like mapped out and everything like this. And I felt so good because there was one that I did really, really well. I couldn't draw... when I was a kid. I still can't draw now. I don't really know what I'm doing with shading or anything like that, so to get these types of books to me were super fun because it made me feel like that I could draw really cool pictures and any of the people in my class who could actually draw, it made me feel like I was on par with them and I remember the dinosaur book that I got I tried so hard to like stay in the lines and I tried so hard to make it look really really good and after I colored one of the pictures, my favorite picture in the in the book that was like the most convoluted one of all of them, um, after I had it colored, I, I tried so meticulously to get it done well, and I was so proud of how it ended up that I showed it to my parents, and my I think we cut it out of the book and we hung it up somewhere. I think we either hung it on the fridge or we painted it, or not painted, framed it like a painting and put it in the house somewhere, and I was so happy about it. I was, oh crap. I was so proud of that picture. Even though all it was was doing this, where you just sit back and you color in shit. But it was fun! And I don't know if those books still go around. I don't know if people still have these types of things in schools or anything like that. I hope so, because they made me feel real good when I was younger. Um, and they were a good- I- oh crap. I think if you were into art at all, you would still like these types of books, if you could actually draw properly anyway from scratch, I think that these are a really good tool for helping you understand the basics of like shading and where different things go. Gives you like a safe environment to try it out. Man, I really should try and get into more artsy stuff. I have a lot of friends who are good at art. I have a lot of friends who are really good at animation and a lot of friends who are really good at all this type of stuff. And I've always wanted to be, but I've never just taken the time to practice. I used to be pretty good at drawing when I was younger, I would draw pictures. It's not copying or tracing. Well, it is copying, but it's it's not tracing. It's like when you see a picture side by side and you're able to like replicate the the, the like the proportions and all that kind of stuff. I used to draw Spider-Man like that. Oh yeah, I thought I clicked on five. Oh no. So this is all this game is. But I thought it'd be a fun little like oh T-Rex yes and Totoro. I thought it'd be a fun little thing to just sit down and play and chat. Because as soon as I saw it on Steam, it was like a new thing on Steam that you could get. It just reminded me of all those things in my childhood that it used to do. And I remember I drew a picture of Spider-Man as well that was like... It was like a, a copied picture that I was super happy about. It was like the one- it was one from like... Oh wait, what? Whoa! There's a whole bunch of them like this. One twos and one five- oh. It's 15, not 1-5. <laughs> oh, fucking dumbass. I was like, why is it 1 and 5 together? No, it's just like the color's 46. <laughs> this is a cool one. I want to get into the, like, really convoluted ones. And this is, this is a type of game that I think is just really nice to... I mean, I hesitate to call it a game. It's not really a game. But it's the type of experience that's really nice to just sit back and turn your brain off. And this is free on Steam, so if you're having a hard day, if you're having a hard time, if stuff's getting a bit overbearing, you can just download this. Just sit back and listen to the nice music and click on little pictures. 
It's fun. I like it anyway. I'm having a great time right now. I'm just sitting back, relaxing, maxing all cool. And I'm recording this on the 23rd. So I have no idea when this is going to go up because I am prepping for tour right now. And like with everything that's been going on with me lately, I know a lot of people are, oh crap, are very supportive in my, my want to take things a little easier and figure out what's going on with myself, figure out what's going on in my brain. Um, and a lot of people are, a lot of people got used to the schedule that I had before of uploading twice a day and some are kind of pissy that I'm not uploading at that frequency right now. I'll get back to it eventually. But right now I can't do that because it's, it's too much. It was too much to keep that up, but I was getting burnt out and I wasn't happy with anything. And prepping for tour, having one video to do a day prepping for tour is a godsend. And it means that I can put more time into some of the things that I'm recording instead of just shiting out random crap all the time. Um, was that the only four? Oh no, I fill in a bunch of the other ones already. Um, so I've been I've been much happier with the schedule I've had now. So prepping for tour and everything right now, it's like it could be really hectic, it could be crazy and everything, but I'm just enjoying, kind of relaxing into it a bit more. It's made it's put me in a better mindset to go into tour with a lot more energy, a lot more creativity, and a lot more gusto than I've had in the past. Um, oh, oops. I miss! I miss up! So playing a game like this is kind of nice, because I I literally have to go in like two hours um, and go down to the venue and, and do the tour and everything, so it's nice to just play something like this where I can switch off my brain for a little bit and just hang out and chat. I know a lot of people are probably getting sick of hearing me talk about my mental health and talk about what's going on with me. Um, but it's, it's been important to me. It's something that I've been neglecting for a, a really, really long time. Something about myself that I've been neglecting for a really long time. It's something that I haven't been comfortable talking about. Which I've come to realize as well. All this time I thought, ah, I'm fine. I'm fine, it's just, I'm a little sad today. I don't really need to do anything about it because I can figure it out and work towards it. And that's, that's the way I work. I, I internalize a lot of my emotions and I figure out what's wrong and then I'm like, oh, this is what's wrong, okay. And I know that all I need is like time to fix it. Um, but lately I've been opening up to more ideas and going to see like a therapist and everything and that's been great. I think it's important. Um, this one, god, you have a lot of just like random one-off numbers. It's kind of an annoying game. Let's just do this. Let's go up the- let's go up and down the scale, like this. Any more 23s? No. Some 28s, though. This is some somber-ass music as well. Made everything I was talking about sound far more depressing. <laughs> um, okay, let's go all the way back, and the last one we need is a number three. Look at that! Look how cute that is! Isn't what this thing on his nose is supposed to be. It's weird. Um, oh, a little pupper! I'm doing the dog just because I want to talk about dogs. Oh, I can just do this. Hell yeah. I want to I want to get a dog so bad. I want to get a dog. I've, I've wanted to get a dog for the last, like, year. Well, I've, I mean, I've always wanted a dog. But the last year, I've really wanted a dog. Like, to the point where I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Give me a dog. But it's because of tour and everything. I, I can't. I can't get a dog. Because it's just, it's not fair. It's not fair on the dog, it's not fair on me. It's not fair on anybody if I get a dog right now, because I, I don't have the time to dedicate to a dog. I barely have the time to dedicate to myself. Figure myself out before I figure out what I, what else I want to do with another being. Um, but I, I really want a dog. I want like a Border Collie. They're, they're one of my favorite dog breeds, but they're, they're smart. And people are like, no, if you don't have the time for them, you don't have a place for them to exercise, and if you don't stimulate them enough each day, they will ruin your life. Because they, they're very smart, so they try and fulfill their needs themselves. And they end up, um, just getting kind of, not aggressive, 
but they just kind of destroy things in your house because they get bored and unfulfilled. Um, basically, border collies are teenagers. <laughs> um, so I want one of those, and I want uh, this is such a sweet little pupper. That or like an Australian Shepherd, an Australian Sheepdog. Oh, those dogs are so fucking pretty. But I'd, I'd also want to potentially get a rescue. Because I, I believe in that, and I think it's important. I mean, both sides have their, their ups and downs. Getting a dog from a breeder that's trained and everything obviously has... Less hassle and everything. It's harder to take care of a rescue, I think. Especially an older one. But... It's worth it because they're so precious and all dogs need love. Look at the little snoot! I want to boop it! Let me boop it! Dogs are the best. I... Okay, point of contention. I don't like cats. I mean, it's not that I don't like them, it's just that cats are assholes. I'm just filling in all this and then I'm gonna come back. Cats are like... <laughs> cats are one of those creatures that's like... I pet you for five minutes and then... Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm done. The cat's like, okay, can you fuck off now? You did it, okay? Cats are too smart for their own good. They have too much personality. Whereas a dog you pet in the head for like 10 minutes and the dog's like, Dad, Do it more! Do it more! I want more pets! And then you pet it for an hour more and the dog's like, Do it! Do it more! <laughs> Can't really do that with a cat. Some cats you can, obviously. Not all pets are the same and I don't want to generalize, but... Doggos are so nice, and dogs you can take out for a walk, on a lead. That kind of stuff. I love that about dogs. I feel like dogs are a lot more loyal. All the cat lovers out there are being like, Actually, my cat does this. My cat's more of a dog than a dog. That might be true, and you're very lucky. Cats are cool though. Cats are bouncy, and spry, and agile. I'd much rather be a cat than I would be a dog. Put it that way. Because I want to be able to parkour. Um, but also, I, I'm allergic to cats. Not in, not in the case of like just being around them and I start sneezing or whatever. But it's like... It's like if I, if I pet them for too long and a lot of their saliva gets on me or something... It's... It starts to make my skin itch. And then, it, then if I rub my eyes, then I'll get very, very puffy and red. So... I... I don't know what that is. I guess it's allergies. If a cat scratches me as well, it gets inflamed a lot more than regular. So there's something going on with cats. Man, it looks so simple, but this tedious as fuck, dude. It's like I'm playing a colorful minesweeper. And all I'm doing is winning. All I'm doing is making the right moves. Oh, but this looks fantastic. Get the little shines in your eyes. Look at it. We need a name for this pup. Everybody in the comments right now, give me a name for this doggo. Better be a good name. This dog deserves a good name. Oh, look at the little tongue! So good! Look at that beautiful pup! Oh, I want you! Come to my house! Just lay right next to me, please! Oh, mother of God. In book three, you might as well be doing fractals. Book two. Oh, sweet mother of Jesus. I kind of want to do one of these just to have it done. Do like the Bob Ross one, but I'll be here all fucking day. These are awesome. Look at this. I want to do this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! I take it back. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, Mom. Fuck. That's bananas! Oh, not not a chance in hell. I am I do not have the patience for that. Catbug! I wanna do catbug! Put a little blanket on it! Sugar pig! Well, this is fairly easy. <laughs> I wonder how big this actually is though. Oh Christ. Cause I'm in too deep, and I'm trying to keep all the thoughts of my head. Stay 
where'd it go? No, no, I just realized I probably sang that wrong. I can't remember the lyrics. I'm Catbug! Sugar peas! Drop them! Okay! I wish you could do a little baby voice like that. It's so adorable. Don't make it over it! He said he wants more carrots and breadcrumbs. If you don't know who Catbug is, just look up Catbug on YouTube. Just Catbug. And there's likely a compilation video that'll show up first. It's the cutest thing ever. Containment cones? Won't help. Put a little friend on it! I don't even know what the number two looks like anymore. What is life? You look at the numbers for so long, they don't look like they're numbers anymore. It's so weird. I hate this. I'm going blind doing this. Okay, there's a whole bunch more twos up here. Okay, can that be all the twos for today? I fucked it up. I fucked it up, Chief. I can't do it. Ah, god dang it, I did it again. Ah, those are twos again. God fucking damn it, man. <laughs> Okay, let's just stay in my lane. Let's just stay in this little zone right here for now. Aw, oh, titties. Does these types of drawings have a name? Are they, are they just like color by numbers or something like that? I think so. Damn it, man! I don't know if there's like a specific name for them. I like these. I want to get some of these books again. I'm gonna feel like a child. I feel like I'm 10 years old again. You know, when things were a lot easier, you didn't have to worry about shit. The most thing you had to worry about is how much time you had to play that day. Fucking good days, man. And I never had enough time to play. I would go out swinging on trees all day. I would never have enough time. Because I was being Spider-Man. Yeah, look at that. Looks great. Okay, now let's zoom in on a different section. No, nope. back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. This would be a nice chill little stream game, I think. Nice thing to just occupy your time. It hurts my arm after a while though, because I'm holding click all the time and just moving the mouse back and forth, and it's like such meticulous, tedious little moves. Should I just write send nudes on Catbug? <laughs> just deface the poor little dude. Is the voice of Catbug also the same voice in the Asdaf movies? You have room for a muffin? The the muffin? But I wanna die! It's muffin time! Somebody kill me! Why won't you let me die? I I can't do the voice because I'm a 28-year-old man. Um, and not a child. I know. Surprising what some people have said on the internet. I'm sorry that I needed- I had to break it to you this way. I am not actually a baby. Um, I know my voice is just higher pitched than some. But that's just life, man. That's just the way it go. You know how sometimes it do? I do. So, Sean, what did you do with your day? You know. Sat here clicking on numbers all day. <laughs> You know what? I'm having a great time. Shut up. I can do what I want. I'm a grown man. It's like a game now. I need to, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fill it all in. It's like Tetris. So nice. Look at this little plump boy coming to life right before our very cat bug eyes. Sleepiest warriors to the pillow zone. Bedtime. There's something oddly satisfying about it as well. Almost like a, an OCD type of tendency. Or like that. Okay, I don't know if anybody else gets this, but... I love vacuuming for this kind of reason. It's like when you see like a big- say if you had like a big pile of sand on the ground. And then you just put the vacuum over it and you do a line through it and it's just so satisfying to see all that get sucked up and have a nice, clean, perfect line through it. That's the kind of thing that really butters my egg roll. It's the thing that really gets the juices flowing. I don't know, is that OCD? Like a mild form of it? Every time I mention OCD, everyone yells at me. <laughs> Look at his teeny tiny little legs. So fucking cute. I'm gonna do his face last. Because he's got an adorable little face hole. What do I- I- I do that, don't I? I put a hole after everything to make it sound sillier than it is. This is the leg holes. And it makes no sense. Welcome to my brain. You know what's also weird? Again, talking about tour. It's the fact that... There's a bunch of people traveling today to come to a tour. Which is fantastic, don't get me wrong. I love 
live shows. In fact, I think I'm better at live shows than I am at this. At doing, like, YouTube videos. Just because I'm in my element when I have people around. Because I'm, I'm just extroverted and I like... I like crowds, I like energy, I like entertaining to live crowds. Um... But it's like, you think about, like, the tour day from, like... If you're somebody coming to the show, in your head, it's like, all day is about the tour, and... You think it's a lot more spectacular than it is on my end? It's like, here I am, sitting down a couple of hours before this show actually begins, and I'm coloring a picture of Cat and Bug. It's weird, and now talking about the show is giving me, like, a rush of, like, anxiety. Not bad anxiety, it's that, like, good anxiety. The, the one that's like, ooh, I have a thing to do and I can't wait to do it kind of anxiety. It just kind of gets you pumped. It's like adrenaline. Because I'm thinking more and more about the show now. I don't know, is any of this shit even interesting? I'm just kind of psycho-babbling. But isn't it weird? It's like, tour life is not, like, glitz and glamour or anything like that. And I don't, like, sit around preparing all day or anything. It's kind of just being like, no, the show's in here. I know how to do it. I've memorized it all a lot by now. And I know what I'm doing, but... I don't know. Whenever I used to watch, think about people going on tour, I'm like, they must, like, sit around all day practicing their craft. No. <laughs> I- I'm- I feel like I'm going cross-eyed. Looking at this, it's almost like an image is popping out, you know those like... Stereograph... Images, is that what they are? Where you like make your eyes go lazy and you see a 3D picture? I'm almost seeing some of that in the patterns that the numbers are in. Am I okay? Am I having a stroke? I smell burnt toast, is that bad? This is also kind of like putting a jigsaw together now that I think about it. Like, some of those bigger pictures, it's that type of thing where you just kind of, like, sit back and... You do, like, a bit every day. I wanna get some jigsaws again. There's one thing I've noticed about myself, is that... A lot of what I do is very... Brain-heavy. Like... It's not like calculating or anything like that, but a lot of what I do is based around, like, visual... Like, stimuli. A lot of what I do on YouTube and everything is all like video games are all like visual based kind of I need I need to do I need more hobbies that I do with like my my hands like a physical activity Har 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 Titties am I right? Come on, you're all thinking it and done Look how adorable he is. Oh god. I don't want to see the lattice of life Look how adorable that little boy is! I'm Catbug! Everything is okay! Ah! I'm Catbug! Alright, well I'm gonna leave this video here. I have no idea what this was. I just wanted to sit down and relax and record a little thing and chat. And I have no idea what I talked about or what even happened, but it was nice. I had a great time. Hopefully somebody got something out of this video. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I guess I'll see some of you guys on tour. This is the last thing I'm recording before I head out, so... Weird. Uh, I don't know when this is going to go up, but it's like a little time capsule now about thoughts, and now you'll be able to cross reference my thoughts from when I'm out on tour and everything. Woo! I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but I hope to see some of you guys at the tour. Obviously, I'll see some of you. But I'm, I'm really, really excited, and I can't wait to just hang out and have fun and create a little memory all together. It's going to be a great time. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, Punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And... I face the rope. Whoosh! Whoosh! Well, thank you guys, and I will see you on you dudes! Hands for the eye!